Okay, today we're going to be removing the rogue My Security Shield. And if you're infected with My Security Shield, you're going to notice a few side effects, including that, you know, your task manager is going to be disabled. As you can see, I cannot open task manager. It might also notice that your searches are redirected on Google specifically. And there might be some uh, blocking of program execution. Some executables might not open. So to remove this, the first thing we're going to do is get a tool called rkill. And for those of you who don't know, rkill is a uh, very useful utility for killing um, running processes that are malicious. It won't completely remove the process, but it will go ahead and stop it so that you can download other tools and uh, delete the infection. So just go ahead and open up your favorite web browser, whatever it may be. Just for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Internet Explorer. And you can either use the link in the description, or you can go to bit.ly slash rkill dash link. And we're just going to go ahead and hit continue to get past that pop-up, or block page, or whatever. It's going to say stop. There might be a problem with the requested link. Go down, download, go ahead and save it to the desktop, close, minimize your browser, run the iExplorer.exe file, and you're going to get this uh, command prompt window. It'll take about a minute to uh, kill the active processes and reload your desktop. Alright, so you're going to get a nice log showing what uh, processes it killed. And it killed the infection process and itself. So now we can remove it just that much easier. Go ahead and close the log. Uh, bring back up your web browser. You can either go to uh, the link in the description. Well, yeah, just go to the link in the description because I'm going to type the whole thing out here. and just keep continuing to the web page. If you get this uh, block page, just click continue browsing this website unprotected. It will let you get past that. Alright, so go ahead and save the setup file to the desktop as well. Go ahead and close this browser window and wait for it to finish downloading. All right, now you can go ahead and run the setup. Run. And you know, click through the, the, uh, the uh, user agreement and uh, location where you want it to install to and all of that. You can make a desktop icon if you want to, you really don't have to. Alright, now you definitely want both of these checked. You definitely want to update, and you definitely want to launch. So just go ahead and click finish. Alright, now if you already have this program on your computer, you're going to want to go ahead and just check again if you've updated. So go to the update tab and check for updates. You should get this. Uh, you have the latest database version. Now you can go back to the scanner, make sure you're on quick scan, and click scan. Uh, this will normally take bet anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes. Alright, so my scan is just finished. It took a little bit over 5 minutes. So now you can go ahead and dismiss this uh, dialog and click show results. And you're going to see uh, all the files that Malwarebytes uh, detected. And it's mostly um, hijacked uh, registry keys and Malwarebytes will fix that. So just go to Remove Selected, and it will run its process. This might take, I don't know, maybe five minutes, because it's got to quarantine all of those, um, all those files and then remove them. Okay, Malwarebytes has uh, just finished cleaning everything off, 
and now it's going to ask you to restart. Go ahead and click yes. And it is imperative that you do restart because uh, Malwarebytes might not be able to remove this whole thing without a reboot. So definitely do that. Okay, our computer is almost clean. We still need to fix our search redirection. And as you can see when I open up Google Chrome, that our Google searches are going to be redirected. Just stop that. and it's not going there. And the problem is in the host file. And the host file is used in pretty much every operating system on every device that's connected, uh, that's networked. And it basically um, is used to reroute traffic. And right now my security shield is rerouting Google searches to their own server so that they can uh, filter or parse them and then give you a redirect page. And the problem is that my security shield has made the host file a protected operating system file, meaning that you're not going to be able to edit it from Windows. And it appears the only way we can edit it from Windows is to use Microsoft's little fix-it tool. And these, um, these are little tools that Microsoft uses in help and support that fix common problems, maybe patch things up. So to do that, all you have to do is reopen your web browser, either go to the link provided or go to bit.ly slash host dash fixit and that will take you where you need to go and it will reset your host file to the default and will allow you to browse so just click this nice fixit button it will want to save a file go ahead and do that close it, run it, go ahead and click I agree and click next and it's going to go ahead and create a restore point just in case then it will fix it then you can close it will want to restart and that is pretty much it for this guide on how to fix and remove my security shield Remember to keep uh, Windows Update on, remember to update your antivirus programs, and thanks for watching.